What's up, guys? Look, you know, my girl here has become like, I guess, my channel favorite, so to speak, right? Everybody's always talking about uh, how she whips, how beautiful iguanas are, how this, how that, how that. I've got so many comments, messages, and all these things about what I should or shouldn't be doing when it comes to my green iguana. So let me be the first one to tell you, I am great with my green iguana. If you take a look at this picture right here, she was nothing but skin and bones when we got her. I rescued her, I syringe fed her, I give her this palace of a cage, of an enclosure, we feed her, we do all this, I get her out every day, we put her in the bath, we help her do this, I help her do that. My point to all of this is, is that are iguanas mean? A majority, yes. However, you know what, I look at it like, what does it really mean when you say, are they mean, if that makes sense, okay? She doesn't bite, but she's vicious with the tail. If you watch this video right here, you will see firsthand how lethal these green iguanas can be with this tail. Look, as you can tell, when I come in here, she looks beautiful. I love her. Doesn't change the fact, bam, look at that. Watch, just watch this tail. Boom. Like I say, I have done everything. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, this woman has seven foot of enclosure. My point is, is that are iguanas mean and feisty? A majority, yes. The problem is, is that when they get this big, or not necessarily this big, she was maybe half this size when we got her, but when they get to this point, it is extremely hard to change their personality. That you get an iguana that gets to be this big, they're feisty, they whip, their, their nails tear you up and they do all these things. And so you end up trying to give them back or obviously, you know, go down to Florida and you just let them go. <laughs> Look, I'm tired of being tore up by her. Um, and so I have some gloves. Gloves are awesome. Doesn't mean you're scared, doesn't mean anything. The only reason I'm wearing these gloves is because of her nails. Her nails are brutal. They tear me up and honestly, I'm tired of bleeding all over the place because of her nails, all right? All right, so I'm gonna get her out because I do wanna show you guys something uh, as far as about the, the thing our iguanas mean. Come here, girlfriend. As you can tell, she does not try to bite. It's, it's, it's all kind of like a defensive thing here. Whoop, whoop. Come here, girl. Ah. Ouch. Ow. Relax. Relax, baby. Look, so our iguana's mean. As you can tell, right, all she wants to do is whip. Okay, right there. Watch. Hey, hey, chill out. Chill out, baby. Hey. Hey. She hasn't, she doesn't try to bite. Right, so when I get her out, right, it's just that defensive thing that these green iguanas are just known for. Um, you know, and so are they mean? Yeah, so to speak, yes. I guess it just kind of depends on what your clarification is. I know that I'm on her right side. I've just learned her that uh, her right her, her right whip isn't quite nearly as deadly as the left. Watch. But see, I like the gloves too because I feel like it gives her a little security because she's actually able to hold on to these gloves way better than she can my hand. Um, and I, I think it gives her a little bit of stability, but as you can tell, she's calming down a little bit. She still has that defensive mindset. You can tell they're do laps down, which is, I mean, business. Uh, when you see iguanas do that, I mean, it's usually for a lot of reasons and it's not ever for the reason that, you know what, I feel really comfortable and I'm so glad you're holding me. <laughs> if you constantly get them out and you constantly get them to this point, as you can tell, She's actually doing awesome. She's so pretty, right? You guys have heard me say it before, their bites are pretty bad, but look, she doesn't even really try to bite. Their, their bites aren't too, you know, they're vicious, but as you can tell, she's just not trying. And so she's got stability, which is what they want. And just look how beautiful she is. I mean, you know, it's feisty and mean or aggressive. You guys want to say these guys are or are not, it doesn't change the fact that I don't love them and she is just gorgeous. So I brought her outside to give her a little bit of sun and you can just truly see how beautiful she is. And you know, I also want to show you like these gloves have truly helped her calm down right here. She feels stable. 
she feels like she's on the ground her nails are latched in they're not tearing me up and so therefore she truly feels like she's secure like i just told you guys i've been doing this now for months just to test okay i don't think it's going to change the fact of how she is when i go to get her out of her enclosure but i do think it changes once we get to this point gloves are huge they will protect you They'll also protect her and they're gonna make things a lot easier when you go to do things like this. I had to put another glove on because in that little intermission, she did lose her mind. Uh, I think she's, <laughs> she's just getting warm as you can tell. But I got my, my awesome helper here, Colton. Uh, I don't necessarily let my kids hold her because she is a little spastic, but they do like to love on her, right Colton? Right, so go ahead, pat her head. Here, get her spikes. So again, look, it's, it's no aggression, right? Yeah, as you can tell, it's just who they are. You have such a slim chance of getting that iguana. Some people do, I get it. You have iguanas that are amazing. They love you, they love your family, but most of the time they are going to be like this. If she was aggressive, if she was mean, she'd be trying to bite Colton right now, but she's not. She doesn't mind that he touches her, right? Go ahead, do her spikes. Oh yeah. Why does she close her eyes? I think she closes her eyes because she doesn't know if you're trying to hurt her. So she closes it and kind of like, a, what's he doing? And then she realizes that you're just loving on her. Is she pretty? So, I mean, they are, they're gorgeous, but I'm telling you, when it comes to these guys, be prepared because when they get this big and they're this rowdy, you still got to love them. You can't just dump them off to the next place, next person, right? Say, I still love you, even though you might not love me, even though I've done all this stuff to save your life. Yeah, yeah. Look, she's getting warm. She sees that sun. She sees that daylight. She's like, I am out of here, which is why I put the second glove on, right? Just gives, her that, just gives her that little bit of stability. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick clip. Uh, just another one of those things. I wanted to kind of show where she is now from where she was in some of those videos. She has calmed down <laughs> a little bit once you get her out. She has not calmed down, however, uh, <laughs> getting her out of that enclosure, but you still love her. I think green iguanas are some of the most beautiful, amazing reptiles that there are, but you just gotta have that mentality that they're gonna get big, they're gonna be feisty, uh, some people classify it as mean, and that tail. Look at that tail, boy. That thing is a pure whip weapon. But until next time on this wonderful journey, make sure you love wildlife, especially reptiles, right? And then, then until then, hey, see ya!